Hello and welcome to Ivy Creates by Deanna Carroll. Uh, today I'm going to repurpose a craft that I made on a previous video into a new item. Uh, you know, you sometimes get either bored of things or you want to change things to something new. I use those uh, wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree to create this phone stand and tablet stand. And, you know, maybe you don't use it all the time. Maybe you want to use it for something different. So I thought, what could I possibly do? So I took the two coasters that I made on my last video and I glued them together. And then I put the little pieces on the front to make a stand for if it, I needed a tablet stand or whatever type of stand I might need. But then, you know, like I said, you don't really always use that. So what else can you do with it while it's just sitting there not being used? So I got the idea to make it a little shelf sitter to where you could even change out the wording however you need to have it changed out. So um, all of this is Dollar Tree items. So you can do this for under $5. No kidding. So the tumbling tower blocks, there were enough to do several projects with in one little thing that was one dollar. These little signs that I'm putting, the relax sign, and I've got two other ones, uh, little wooden pieces, they were also one dollar. So that is a total of four dollars. And you see I'm taking the little wooden block and I'm sitting it in the groove where the tablet would normally sit. That's just to level it out so that the relax can sit firmly and straight on the sign and it's you know it gives it a little bit of a relief so it looks like it's um, more substantial and I'll paint those little blocks as well but you can see the peace sign and there's also a relax one um, they had a few more at the store you know like love and stuff like that happiness home however you want it um, so those I'm going to paint and I'm also going to be painting the stand to make it into a shelf sitter so that it sits upright and it looks more substantial kind of like a plaque or something to that effect so now I've started with the Dixie Belle um, in the white I think it's called yeah it's cotton and the cotton I just want to spread all over the tumbling tower blocks very well and um, make sure that they're all covered really well so that it doesn't show through because they are different colored blocks but they do look very nice in our um, in our little craft that we made and I'm finding all kinds of uses for these little blocks they're amazing you can make little planters you can make picture frames um, do many things with just simple wooden blocks and gluing them together so um, almost finished with painting the backer and the next thing I will do will be going on to paint the little signs and I will paint those different colors so that uh, they can be used for different occasions even um, you may decide to use them for uh, say Christmas you want just the peace sign you can use one sign or you can use all three signs together uh, it just depends on what you want and please do, if you're enjoying seeing what's going on here, please subscribe and hit the notification button and spread the love by sharing with your friends. Um, I am new to this, but uh, I really do appreciate you being here. And it's fantastic that you're watching. And uh, also join my Facebook pages. I have one that is... Um, Deanna Carroll or at Deanna AC. I have also the Ivy Creates um, Facebook page. So you can see that I'm almost done, finished, you know, done with the painting and everything. And uh, it did take a really long time to paint that little bitty tiny piece, but that's it. <laughs> so now I'm drying it off, getting it ready. And because we have no patience, we dry it off and, um, use their heat gun to dry it which you can find a heat gun at most home improvement stores it's not a big deal um, to get those so you can see how I had attached on the back the little pegs of wood which is all 
the tumbling tower. And um, so I attached the pegs and now I've finished drying it off. It feels good, looks good. I think I added another coat to it when I got finished because I wanted it a little bit cleaner looking. So uh, yeah, that's the, the blocks that are going in the groove so that the sign can sit on it properly. And the next thing I'm going to do is just paint up our little um, signs. So, I'm using the Dixie Bell Duck Egg Blue on the home sign. And I'm just coating that pretty generously and it you know, covers extremely well and it dries very fast. So I'm painting the front and the back because I don't know how it's going to be seen exactly. Just want to make sure that it's pretty well covered. And uh, let's see. Painting is probably the most relaxing thing you can do. Uh, not necessarily painting walls because that can get very tedious. I've done that too. But as far as just, you know, painting something, it's very uh, gratifying, uh, being creative and making something new looking. And uh, as I said, we are repurposing stuff here. We're just adding to it a little bit more. And I can still use it as a, a cell phone stand or a uh, tablet stand or anything else. But I can also have it as a decoration for my shelf or for you know to sit up on the wall on a shelf and that way it's something that's interchangeable and different now the peace sign is the red it's also dixie bell and that's a rustic red i believe Alright, the last one is the relax sign, and that is going to be Dixie Bell and Caviar. Which I gotta say, of all the colors, the caviar was the hardest to put on. And that is uh, to get it to get it fully evenly colored and not, you know, get it to where it's supposed to all be in all the grooves. I had to go back and sand each of these pieces so that they would be a little bit smoother and not have any clumps or anything of paint because uh, the paint gets a little goopy sometimes, especially if I'm painting off the lid of the, you know, the paint bottle or can or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now I've got everything and I'm making sure it's all dry and you can see it still fits the phone, it still looks good, and you can still watch anything on it uh, just if you had your tablet or your phone. And it's just a little bit more cohesive now. Alright, my two little blocks I also painted white to match and that is the cotton white and you can see on the back where I did just one kind of faint color that's just in case um, I didn't think it was really gonna show but you know just in case so I'm putting my little block pieces in 
I'm getting them ready to sit down and then I'm just I'm just sitting them in that's all I'm not gluing it or anything so that I can reuse it so this is our home sign and we're gonna put that one up on our little shelf there on our, our shelf sitter and it's got a little dimension which is really good it gives it just that depth and added value you know Again, I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video and seen what I can do uh, creative-wise with very, very little money to make your house look special or to make your bedroom look special or wherever you want it to go. Um, now putting the peace sign, I thought that would be really good doing it the red for because you would have it on in red for Christmas and stuff um, and it looks nice and the relax is in black and that's just classic black and white you know and it looks you know classy on the little stand too so thank you thank you thank you please view some of my other videos and see if maybe there's something else you would like you can always send me a message or comment um, on each of these videos and uh, make sure you hit the like button and I uh, hope to see you soon in my next video. Uh, just wanted to thank you very much for watching. And know that you're creative too. Everyone has a gift. Everyone can find their gift. You can see I put the little lip on the front of the stand so that nothing would fall out or slip out or anything of the sort. And all I do is put my little two blocks back in there and I can sit the signs on it. I like multiple use things. They're so nice to have. Have a great and wonderful day. Thank you.